Long before the first flights took off from KCI this morning, the new terminal project was already a launching pad for many small and minority businesses in Kansas City. We were intentional about making sure we could be inclusive in this process. For a company like CJR Construction, that meant having the opportunity to bid on contracts and know that they had a reasonable and more importantly, a fair chance at winning. Very important and uh, for the simple fact it kind of leveled the playing field a little bit. The results were huge. CGR completed much of the retail space at the new KCI. We did the city market, the 18th and Vine district. We did the uh, uh, Made in KC. And through that work, CJR was able to provide work to other companies. We hired a lot of minority other companies. We probably have 75% minority and WBE firms on this on our projects. And on a billion dollar project like this, new terminal, just a slice of the pie is enough to change the fortunes of a small business forever. We've been around four years and we had an opportunity to work on about $108 million of total project work here that's catapulted us to the next level. These minority businesses are hoping that the quality of work that they performed here at KCI will help to open the doors for other projects here in the area. Dennis Evans, KBC9 News. One of the spots here inside the new KCI will give uh, not just Kansas Cityans, but certainly visitors a sense of uh, the kind of baseball history that we all enjoy here in Kansas City. In fact, Negro League's president, uh, Bob Kendrick, says a new terminal feature, uh, the new terminal that is, features a sports bar, which is called the League, and uh, will also be able, uh, you'll be able to buy uh, museum gear inside that particular space.